How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kaz and this channel is centered around hacking PC games, but just about every second comment I get is a request for me to hack the next big mobile game. I hate to break it to you guys, but hacking PC versus hacking mobile games is a completely different discipline. With that being said, hacking is still hacking at the end of the day, and many of the concepts remain the same. I've never personally written a cheat for a mobile game, but what I have done is jailbroken many of my iOS devices over the past 6 or 7 years, and I've even coded a tweak here. In, there. in this video, I want to present you a guide on how to get started with mobile game hacking using my limited but significant experience combined with a lot of research. I hope to at least give you a decent understanding of the mobile hacking scene, so be sure to stick around. If you're trying to hack games, or anything for that matter, you're going to run into a ton of problems that require creative, out-the-box thinking. Problem solving is a skill that you have to develop and exercise just like any other. And that's exactly why this video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. Brilliant is an online platform where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and even AI. Brilliant is designed to build your critical thinking skills through problem solving exercise, not through memorizing, which we all hate. This means that while you're building real knowledge on a specific topic, you'll also be improving your thinking skills across the board. If you don't believe me, I highly recommend that you check out their creative coding course. The purpose of these lessons is to develop your mind into that of a programmer's, forcing you to build a strong foundation in writing robust and efficient programs. So what are you waiting for? To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash CAS or click on the link in the description down below. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thanks for listening and let's get back to the video. Before we can talk about all the fun stuff, we have to take a trip back to discuss the basics. Mobile devices might seem foreign to PC people, but in reality, they're just less powerful and more restricted computers. They still have CPUs, GPUs, RAM, and so on. But the major difference is the operating systems that run on these devices. The market share is split largely between iOS and Android. iOS is a proprietary operating system based on Unix developed by Apple in the early 2000s. Android, on the other hand, is an open source operating system based on the Linux kernel and other software, which is usually forked and sold as a proprietary one as well. Together, these two dominate the mobile landscape, and therefore, they will be the focus of this video. Mobile operating systems serve quite a different purpose to desktop ones, because they solve different problems. These devices need to be easily and seamlessly accessible through touch, while being extremely efficient in order to preserve battery life. They also need to be simpler for the average person to use. All the complexity of the computer needs to be tucked away and hidden from the end user. This results in the experience of using mobile devices generally being a lot more restricted than desktop ones. People want to purchase a mobile device that just works. It should switch on and do everything they need it to do, without forcing them to jump through a bunch of hoops like the typical Arch user. On Windows, you can download a random program and run it on your computer. This is great because anyone can write code and make applications, but this is also why old people constantly get viruses. Mobile operating systems like to produce a walled garden of sorts, a sandbox where users live their naive little life. But in order to hack games on these devices, the user needs to escape this walled garden, and that is done with a jailbreak. Jailbreaking is the iOS way of escaping the Apple walled garden. The closest equivalent on Android is known as a root, but rooting and jailbreaking are not exactly the same. Android by default is already a lot less restricted than iOS, and therefore all you need is root access to the Linux kernel. In other words, you need to become a super user on the device. iOS, on the other hand, is completely locked down, and therefore, jailbreaks do a lot more than just provide root access. Jailbreaks basically create a platform with libraries and package managers to allow people to create their own applications and even modify existing ones on the device. If you want to hack games on iOS, you pretty much need a jailbreak. It is possible without one, but it's a lot more restricted in terms of what you can do. If you have an Android device, you're going to need a root as well. On Android, it's pretty easy though, because there are already numerous programs available that will root your device with a single click. Make sure to do your research though, because these can harm your device and will void your warranty. When it comes to iOS, OS, the process is a bit more complicated. You need to sideload a utility that can jailbreak your device for you. Sideloading is the process of installing a third-party IPA file on your iOS device. IPA is just the format that Apple uses to ship their applications, equivalent to an Android APK. I recommend checking out the r slash jailbreak subreddit. This place will show you the best, current, and safest jailbreaks available right now, along with great tutorials and information on how to get started. 
There's a common set of tools and requirements for hacking games on both platforms. So let's discuss them here, starting with iOS. If you're gonna be developing anything with your jailbreak, namely hacks, apps, or even tweaks, you're gonna to have to learn a horrible language called Objective-C. Although modern iOS apps are coded in Swift, jailbreaking is not modern, and jailbreaking is also not very open to change. Most of your learning resources will be in Objective-C anyway, so just bite the bullet and learn it. To build iOS applications, you need certain SDKs and libraries, not to mention Mention, your computer needs to know how to build a format that is supported by the phone. On Windows, you should use a system called Theos, and on Mac, you should use Xcode. Links are down below. Finally, you need a way to access your mobile device's file system on your computer. This can be done through the SSH protocol using an application like Putty or OpenSSH. This will allow you to transfer files and run commands on your phone from your PC. On the Android side of things, it's quite a bit simpler. Coding apps on this platform is just a matter of installing Android Studio on your PC and and then you can begin making apps with a number of languages, including C++, Kotlin, and even Java. These are all requirements for making applications and getting your code running on the device. But what about all the important hacker stuff? Well, regardless of the platform, you'll always need a disassembler for static analysis. The classic program for this is, of course, IDA Pro. It can disassemble both iOS and Android app packages, but that program is very expensive. If you cannot find yourself a copy for, well, educational purposes, the next best thing is Ghidra, which is a free and open source alternative to IDA Pro. On your device itself, there are many hacking utility programs that you might want to consider using before making your own. On Android, apps like Game Guardian exist, which are basically mobile versions of Cheat Engine. You can search through the game's memory for values and modify them as you like to give yourself a bunch of coins or whatever. The same style of apps are also available on your jailbroken iOS device through Cydia. An iOS version of Game Guardian called iGameGuardian is available, along with something even more powerful called Flex, which will literally let you debug operating system UI elements, write custom scripts, and much, much more. Just like hacking regular games on the PC, there are a number of different ways to make a cheat for a mobile game. It all depends on the game and how complex you want the cheat to be. The easiest method to understand is probably the one I mentioned earlier. By using some sort of hacking utility on the device, you should be able to search through memory to find important variables. Then, with said utility, you can simply modify the values to increase your score, money, speed, and so on. Another easy method to understand is that of classic save game editing. If your progress in a game persists through launch launches without an internet connection, that information is being saved somewhere in the file system. Once you have a root or a jailbreak, you'll be able to access the file system and find where the game is saving the important data. You should then be able to edit that config file, which could be in a number of different formats, in order to give yourself unlimited gold or whatever you want to do. More advanced cheats might involve reading and or modifying the game's packets during web requests. This could help you create a bot for a game like Clash of Clans, where you read incoming data, make some decisions, and then do things in the game by sending specific requests to the server. Finally, we get to the most popular way of hacking mobile games, by creating a separate modded version of the app itself. This way is very popular because there is no need for a root or jailbreak. Users can simply sideload the hacked version of the app onto their device and they are sorted. This type of cheat is created by copying a version of the application onto a computer, patching the app by editing its assembly code, or in the case of some apps, its bytecode, before signing the modded app and sending it back to the device. Hacking mobile games is very similar to hacking PC games, but with meaningful differences. By default, on these mobile devices, you don't have the same amount of freedom, but once you've removed those restrictions, the device becomes your playground. I'd like to mention an excellent website called iOS Gods. This is like the unknown cheats, but for mobile game hacking and modding. They even have a whole free cheat section, which includes jailed and jailbroken cheats. I've been using them for many, many years and can personally vouch for them. Let me know if you guys would be interested in some jailbreaking and tweak tutorials in the future because it's a very interesting topic to me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more content like this, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed. As always, shout out to my sexy patrons and until next time gamers, cheers and peace out.